Late Mr. Onyuku John Onyekwere has been laid to rest in Okoko Itzem, then the local government area in Abia State. He was the father of Nina Onyekwere, secretary of the Catholic Social Communications Department of the Archdiocese of Abuja. CTV's Delphine Asu completes the report. The farewell journey of late Mr. Onyeku John Onyekwere to his home state of Amabo, Okokeiten, Abia State, began from the University of Nsuka Teaching Hospital, Enugu. There was a brief stop at his maternal home, Ekenta, Okokeiten, where the family elders broke colon nuts and said prayers for the deceased. On arrival at the RG Onyekwere cottage, children of late Mr. Onyekwere and elders received him with praise and prayers, after which there was lying in state and members of the immediate family paid their respects. The funeral service commenced with opening prayers and praises. Testimonies were shared about the life of the late John Onyekwere and missed the singing of hymns. We sent us on his deep commitment and love for Christ. He continually reminded me that he has no one else to turn to except Christ. In the sermon, Pastor Emmanuel Okeudo urged all present to open their hearts to God he further reminded them that God is only moved by faith, discouraging haughtiness and fear. These are things you are seeing today. The hearts of men are failing them. The only escape route is to embrace Christ. So, so, who's there can never be any salvation anywhere. It is only by embracing Christ. He said, please, I can't come back to this wicked world. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are not here to mourn. We are here to rejoice over a sin that is gone home. All we need to do is to amend our way so that we will meet him there. At the end of the sermon, prayers were said for the children of the deceased, after which late Mr. John Onyekwere was laid to rest. There were traditional rites and other performances. CTV News spoke with some of the bereaved. One thing about my dad is that I don't call him more often. He's the one that will always call me, you know how I'm doing. Both me, my husband and my children. He you know, said he's praying for us. Even during the COVID-19 pandemic, when he started, my husband is a medical doctor. He was always calling us to know how, telling my husband to be careful that he will continue to pray for him. The environment that I saw. I think that was contributory to the events that led to it. It's not easy to find someone who is empathetic as much as he was. Considering his background, he grew up in a polygamous family with all the dragons and thousands of polygamy. So he was still able to make out a niche for himself, establish himself in the face of that difficult. Ordinarily, one would expect such a person to be self centered, but he wasn't. So, probably the lessons of uh, early childhood taught him to be uh, selfless and to be empathetic. There's a difference between sharing from your excess and sharing from your little. So, he was a man that shared from his little. I think that's a very good legacy that I expect each and every one of you. Even my siblings can actually attest to that, that even when we lost our mom back in 1994, that he actually brought out the real me or the things I learned from him trying to be independent by being by hustling by myself. Onyuku Junior. But now 
the when you consider is gone, so invariably I'm taking his place in the family. So I'll miss a lot. The fact that my father is gone shows a lot that those things that he tells me. From all his advice and everything, one thing I picked up is that one should always maintain. That is, you should not look at other people, just be yourself. Growing up with him as a father, he was a beautiful soul, very beautiful soul. But um, he brought us a new way of righteousness, that is, that is to be upright. And that's what I'm seeking to be. I wish him to rest in the bosom of God, God Almighty God until that resurrection morning. We are with me to part with and to all of my siblings. Well, then, surprised that everybody must pay. He has gone to rest with his grace. So, I, I, I wish them long life so that all of us will live as he and our children. Too.